following the footsteps uh, of the father of the nation, our Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has made remarkable progress in the socio-economic development of Bangladesh, including disaster management and uh, taking our voice to the international level about the climate crisis and the climate vulnerable uh, countries, as she is has been chairing that forum. Bangladesh has demonstrated remarkable growth and development despite multiple obstacles and challenges. And one of the main challenges is Bangladesh is and has been severely impacted by the adversities of the climate crisis. When we were talking about emissions and uh, the carbon market and carbon credits, we, it, it, in the same way, the conversations about adaptation and mitigations are important and the conversation about moving away from fossil fuel is also important. And also, how to incentivize the usage of renewable energy. We are aware that the uh, power ministry has uh, put into place a net metering uh, system, but my um, brother uh, Shams was mentioning the issues which are still uh, remaining in, in BEBSA. Because BEBSA has a different uh, law to govern uh, energy usage. So net metering is not applicable there. Yes, that is a problem that we need to address. There are various policies that we have, uh, many of the panelists have referred to. Uh, policies like the Climate Change Strategy and Action Plan, National Adaptation Program, Mujib Climate Prosperity Plan, National Disaster Management Policy, and we have heard from the esteemed panelists from World Bank about how certain, uh, how many countries, developed countries, have used the carbon financing and the carbon credit system. We in Bangladesh will, of course, not try to invent the wheel. We will follow solutions that have already worked. That is one thing. Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina recently said, quote, Bangladesh is now considered a living laboratory of locally-led climate adaptation. My first realization about resource constraint for climate action was at COP15 in 2009. I set up Bangladesh Climate Trust Fund to undertake homegrown adaptation process after returning home from COP15, unquote. Bangladesh has so far implemented nearly 800 projects at a cost of $480 million from our own resources. Even today, uh, 300 new projects were approved at the NEC meeting on the annual development programs. This is an inadequate, inadequate amount, but we require seven to eight billion every year to implement our national adaptation plan. Mm -hmm. uh, climate crisis is already having a devastating effect on Bangladesh. Bangladesh has the enormous potential to earn carbon credits, uh, as we have heard also from the ITCO CEO. And the two programs that earned us the most credits, the solar home, sy home system, and the improved cooking stove are actually uh, no longer in operation, right? And I think we had more than 6 million solar home systems, which if I ask uh, the ITCO CEO or SHREDA or the Environment Ministry, I don't think they'll be able to tell me how many of those 6 million solar home systems are in operation now.